We are gonna keg the Blackberry Blackout Porter. Added the blackberries a little over a week ago. Secondary fermentation should be done. So we're gonna rack that to this two and a half gallon keg. And we're gonna use a fine mesh bag to try and catch any solids that come through while we transfer it, so. And then I uh, turned our chest freezer down just to help cold crash get the yeast out of suspension. What temp, what, what temp did we reach? Uh, it's been sitting around 34 gotcha. for about 24 hours. So, cool. Um, just help settle things. So. But it looks like the seeds all floated to the top, which is nice. They all seem to be up here in the east, and there's some at the bottom too. So, if we take from the middle, we should be all right. This mesh bag's been soaking in star sand. We're just using this to catch any seeds or anything else that go through. We don't want to block the uh, dip tube in the keg. And that's reaching all the way down, so that's good. It's in the bottom. I'm just going to hold this in the middle. How full is that keg? It's getting pretty full. Caught a little bit, but I think the majority of it's still in the keg. Or in the carboy. So we've, we've prevented the seeds at least from getting. Yeah. Pre pre prevented the seeds from being in since they floated to the top, and then also. Uh, there are a lot of them are in the bottom there too, so. Gotcha, mm -hmm. okay. And then at least in the cold crashing. I think the cold crash probably helped. Yeah, I dropped a lot of the yeast. And I try a cold crash if I can. Sweet. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put this on gas, get it carved up, and then next video we'll do a taste test of this as well as the other one without the blackberries and kind of do a comparison and see how she came out.